Minnesota, the Right to Return Coalition, for convening us all and for making this an urgent issue that all of us New Yorkers take on seriously. Secondly, we want to congratulate and give our heartfelt thanks to the people of South Africa for truly honoring the legacy of their heroes, Oliver Dambo, Joe Slogo, Ruth Hirsch, Chris Honey, and all of those who gave their lives to end apartheid in South Africa, but who ultimately were true Pan-Africanists and true internationalists. As a movement based here in New York City, that has joined hundreds of other organizations across the country in a coalition to shut it down for Palestine. After 90 days of intense action, of mobilization, of persistent protests against politicians, against all those who continue to fund the genocide of our people. Yes, the Palestinian people are our people as well. We understand and believe that the struggle for the liberation of Palestine takes multiple forms. And the legal struggle, the struggle to take Israel to court is a key and major one. And it is now our responsibility as movements to continue mobilizing, but to use our capacity of people power on the streets to not just pressure other governments to join in declaring their support for this case, but to actively hold accountable the countries that do not make any declarations of support. It is not enough for certain countries to simply vote in the UN General Assembly to support a ceasefire. They must do more. It is worrisome that at this point, only a few countries like Bolivia and Jordan have stood up in support of South Africa. It is our responsibility as an internationalist movement, as a movement of the people, as people who refuse to give up or get tired in the light of so much violence and terror instigated by the U.S. and applied by Israel, that despite all of that, we will continue pushing. We will be in Washington, D.C. this Saturday with hundreds of thousands who will be calling for Israel to be held accountable and for all U.S. funding for the Israeli genocidal war campaign to be ended and to be cut. We will be continuing to mobilize after that, again on a national and international day of action on January 20th. We refuse to stay silent. We insist on standing honorably on the side of justice, which is the side of the Palestinian people. And thanks to God and thanks to the heroes of the South African Liberation Movement, today we can stand on the right side of history with South Africa.